Good evening, and welcome to the Hellenic Foundation's Annual Grant Awards. We hope that you find tonight's event engaging, entertaining, and educational. This year, I am honored to be joined by my good friend and esteemed Emmy Award winner, Anna DeVlantis. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. It's good to be with you, too, and Merry Christmas to all of you tuning in. It's a pleasure to be here, and I'm delighted to be joining you for tonight's awards to celebrate the incredible work being done right mm -hmm. here in the Chicago area community. And I want to give a big congratulations to this year's 19 grant recipients. You are exemplary members of your community. You are doing so much, making such a difference, and we are blessed to have you. Throughout the evening tonight, we're going to take a look back, though, too, at some of the previous recipients to see the progress they have made toward their goals. But before we do that, let's hear from our Executive Director, Peter Velasaris, who will tell us all about the Hellenic Foundation. Judge Tony and Anna, thank you for the warm welcome. In 1952, Father George Masarandonis, a blessed memory, realized that there was a growing problem in our community. The elderly Greek immigrants in Chicago were in dire need of housing and immigration services, and he did something about it. The Greek Orthodox Welfare Foundation was formed specifically to help these individuals. There's a word in Greek for the sense of duty, the courage to do the right thing, compassion, and the love of community, philoptimo. What's important about this word is that it necessitates action. When you see someone in trouble, you just don't talk about what should be done, you do it, and without hesitation. As the needs of our community have changed over the decades, so has the organization. The Greek Orthodox Welfare Foundation has evolved into the Hellenic Foundation. Today, the Hellenic Foundation touches the lives of thousands of individuals in the Chicago Greek and Orthodox community through programs created to fulfill that one guiding principle, philoptimo. Through our in-home care program, we provide essential services that allow our seniors to remain at home with a quality of life and their dignity. Even the COVID pandemic could not deter us from this responsibility. Our board funds the executive director so that he can take immediate action to assist members in our community who are in critical situations. Oftentimes, this is done hand in hand with the Metropolis Philopticals. Thirdly, our grant program supports programs and projects focused on the needs of our seniors, our young adults and youth, as well as supporting the important institutions in our community, including the Greek American Rehabilitation and Care Center, the Metropolis of Chicago, the St. Yakovos Retreat Center, the National Hellenic Museum. The principle of Philoptimo is not unique to the Hellenic Foundation or its board of directors. It's ingrained in the hearts of all of us. What makes us different is that our board is focused specifically on the Chicagoland area with programs dedicated to fulfilling its sense of duty, its courage to do the right thing, its compassion, and its love of community, Philoptimo. Thank you, Peter. Through your efforts, the Orthodox and Hellenic communities of Chicago are stronger than ever. Now, we are blessed to have His Eminence, Metropolitan Nathaniel, lead us into prayer. Judge Tony and Anna, thank you for your most kind introduction. Uh, dear friends, it's a great honor to be with you this evening. As we prepare to celebrate the Nativity of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, let us offer some reflections and prayer to the Lord. Heavenly Father, as we come together to offer you glory, honor, and worship as a community, as a metropolis family, we thank you for all of the heavenly gifts that we have received from you, especially the gift of the birth of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Continue to guide the team and the family of the Hellenic Foundation. Grant us discernment to understand your will so that we may present to the world the love of your Son. Amen. This year, the Metropolis of Chicago is celebrating the Year of the Youth. We have um, dedicated much of our attention and energy on our youth programs and preparing for our YAL conference, uh, our Fanari Camp, of course, our retreat center that is the home of our Fanari Camp, 
and we were able to launch our Lighthouse Camp, which was a program that was funded and seeded by the Hellenic Foundation to help our uh, upcoming freshmen in college understand more intensely and deeply the value of faith. I think that it's important for all of us to identify ways to help promote um, the voice of our youth. We must do all we can to help them envision and realize a more dynamic, more faithful, more inspirational church for future generations. It is up to them to do this. We have done our best, and I think all of the, the parents and grandparents who are continuing to support our church, but it is really up to our youth to take the church to the next level. And we need to give them the tools to be able to do that. So I, I want to thank the Hellenic Foundation for equipping our kids, for helping them prepare for the future, and for helping us continue to bring the joy and the hope of our Lord Jesus Christ to so many people. And so I thank you very much for supporting our youth. As we continue this evening's award ceremony, I'd like to congratulate all of the Hellenic Foundation grant recipients. Thank you for the incredible work you're, you're doing in the Chicagoland area, impacting the lives of so many different people. And I also want to thank the Hellenic Foundation for its, uh, of course, the board members, the staff, uh, the volunteers. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to advance our mission and our desire to help people around us. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you, Your Eminence, for those heartfelt words. The Hellenic Foundation and the Metropolis both strive to uplift our youth in every capacity. Together they will ensure a strong legacy of orthodoxy for generations to come. Thank you, Anna. Let's take a moment and see how one of our past grant recipients, the San Iacovos Retreat Center, was able to make that difference. Last year we provided funding to build a new basketball court. You remember playing basketball at St. Demetrius and cheering on the Warriors back in the day? <laughs> I had a little game. How about you, Judge Tony? I bet, bit, you, were, I bet you had something going Just on. Just a little bit. <laughs> it's really cool to see that kind of thing, though. Kids oh. get together and play, and it's just, you know, it, Absolutely. It, the connection's made. It's amazing. The ball I played with, though, was a little bit bigger. <laughs> a little bit bigger than this one. <laughs> Let's hope so. I can palm this one, actually. So can I. Kinda, Let's go. You want to go dunk? <laughs> <laughs> I think we should get back to this. <laughs> we have to capture our young people. We have to meet them where they are in life, engage them, and help them understand how the church is not just a rule book for them, but is a path for them through the challenges of life and toward salvation. Even something that might seem small, like a basketball court, helps add to our approach of engaging our young people bringing them to one another, and through bringing them to one another, bringing them toward Christ. But then there's also a practical aspect to it. Um, the basketball court, as an example, prior to it being located down where the rest of the activities were, were actually, is actually up here at the farm area. And what that really did is it divided the camp during free time. Basketball is, of course, an extremely popular activity, and so what you would have is you would have half the camp down there and then half the camp up here. And it creates, of course, supervision issues and stuff like that, but just also you're here to be together, and when you have to take the truck all the way across camp to play basketball, some people just wouldn't do it. And so having it located centrally on the property is really cool to see because it's kind of become a central gathering place. You know, a lot of the activities that used to be run different places on the property are now run there. For me, basketball, I've learned so many different life lessons from it. I've met so many friends, uh, especially through church basketball. I've met like my lifelong friends. I just love hanging out with my friends, just spending time with them. Just getting away from my phone for a week is really important for all of us. Some of these friends are like going to be lifelong friends in my opinion. You build such a great relationship here and it's just wonderful to see like all the friends we make and just being away from the world and just enjoying each other's company one at a time. On behalf of the Board of Directors and the entire Retreat Center community, I'd like to thank the Hellenic Foundation for awarding us with a grant in the year 20, for the year 2022. 
Through the monies and through this award, what we will do is we will further develop our outdoor activity program area to install a new softball and soccer field on site, as well as improve our ADA accessibility to the fields already installed, as well as some of the vital areas around the camp. This will enhance our community and help grow our programs and ministries, and we thank the Hellenic Foundation for their continued support. Thank you, Chrysanthi, and congratulations. The Retreat Center is home to so many incredible programs, including Fenari Camp, which serves as one of the metropolis's largest youth ministries. We look forward to maintaining this relationship for years to come. The Hellenic Foundation recognizes how important it is to provide continuing support for our Orthodox youth, and those efforts include the transition into college. Let's take a look at this year's first ever Lighthouse Retreat. This is almost like an orthodox vacation. That's probably the best way I can describe it. For kids who are younger than us, there's Fenari. For kids who are older than us, there's OCF. But for our age group, there was nothing. There was nothing to transfer us from Fenari to college. And that's why Lighthouse was created. And our college decision was arguably one of the most important decisions of our lives and that follows up with questions and doubt and insecurity and anxiety and Lighthouse was essential for us to learn how to deal with that and to give us that support system that we needed to continue that light inside of us despite all the change that is happening around us. Lighthouse was one of the most influential weeks of our lives. It was an incredible experience. I mean, we got closer to our faith, we got closer to each other, and we met, what, 35 people who we, a lot of them, we've never met before. But then after a week of staying with each other, we're all really close. And that's something that's very special, and it's not something that happens every single day. And it was truly just a beautiful experience. And we're very grateful to have that. The Hellenic Foundation Funding Lighthouse helps maintain those relationships. Lighthouse is important. Lighthouse is essential to the future of Orthodoxy. And the youth is the future, and the light is inside the youth. And Lighthouse gave us the tools to spread that light. Wow, I am blown away. What an incredible program. I wish that was around when we were kids. No kidding. You know, no kidding. way back in the day, but what an incredible thing, huh? Wow. Before we introduce the rest of this year's grant recipients, we would like to take a moment to tell you a little more about the grant giving process and the integrity with which it's conducted. Being a part of the application review process is an important part of our position as board members of the Hellenic Foundation. Our grant mission statement is to fund the development and support the programs and projects that benefit the Greek American and Orthodox Christian communities in the Chicagoland area. Our board members consist of accomplished men and women who all volunteer their time and talents to this cause. I believe the collective driving force for all of us is Philotimo. You heard Peter talk about it earlier. It's part of our culture, our heritage, and our legacy. Each board member brings that same sense of honor, duty, respect, and community to the grant process. Each of us recognizes the personal and awesome responsibility to honor and help those we can with what we have. The board members bring a world of experience and insight to the application review process. This experience not only helps assess the viability of an application, but also provides guidance in those areas to help applicants fulfill their mission. So, if you're a 501c3 organization whose charitable work fits that description, then you can apply for a Hellenic Foundation grant too. Our grant committee assigns vetting teams made up of board members to each grant application. During the review process, we consider the needs of the community 
and how the grant will fulfill those needs. This is where our grant committee determines if there's an actual intersection between the applicant's mission and the Hellenic Foundation mission. Another consideration is the feasibility of the project and whether it can be completed on time and on budget in order to effectuate the proposed program. After the initial review by the vetting teams in conference with the whole grant committee, a decision is made to either forward the grant request to the board for further consideration or not. The board makes the final decision as to which requests can be granted and determine any special terms or conditions on the funding. The grant recipients you are meeting tonight are the culmination of those efforts. And it doesn't necessarily end with simply granting the award. The Hellenic Foundation is there to support the organizations in achieving their goals. We also connect grant recipients who can support each other through services, legal assistance, developing new programs. We look to partner with other foundations who can provide matching grants for programs in need of additional financial support. Ultimately, when a grant program or project is successful, it is a win-win for all, our community, the grant recipient, and the Hellenic Foundation. Love of community for Loptomo. Get back over here, Judge. I'm back. I'm back. Whoa. <laughs> How are you? I'm I, I, you I miss been me? well. I did. I missed did you, you miss a little me? bit, but I'm, I'm glad. I like, like those words and what you had to say. It was really thank you, thank you. With, very cool. With that said, I'm excited to introduce our first group of grant recipients. Well, let's go. These organizations have provided our youth with many opportunities in education, mm -hmm. scholarship, and even mentorship. Please join me in welcoming and congratulating the 13th District Order of Ahepa the Daughters of Penelope 13th District, Hellenic Link Midwest, and the Pan-Hellenic Scholarship Foundation. Good evening, thank you for having me. I'm John Varanis. I am the treasurer of the 13th District HEPA Scholarship Foundation. The HEPA Scholarship Foundation has been around for many, many years. We have been giving scholarships to uh, seniors and uh, students that are in college. We've given over $800,000 over these years. We're really pleased to have uh, the award from the Hellenic Foundation. That helps us provide additional scholarships, especially those students that are of need. Uh, last year was the first year that we received a grant from the Hellenic Foundation. And we were able to increase how much we gave to college students. We doubled the amount of those scholarships. Uh, we will continue to be doing that. Uh, and we hope to use the Hellenic Foundation grant to leverage that to the rest of the community in our fundraising efforts. We do look forward to having additional funds coming in from members of the HEPA family, and we do uh, want to continue to provide those funds to those, those students that are in need. We appreciate all that the Hellenic Foundation has done, and we thank you. Uh, have a Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year. Hello, I'm Electra Contalonis, and I'm the treasurer of the Daughters of Penelope 13th District Scholarship Foundation. Our organization has been providing scholarships to young adults of Hellenic descent um, for over 25 years, and we are proud to, to say that we have awarded over 300,000 in scholarships. Uh, our organization is comprised of nine different chapters, and we fundraise, and we host events, we host raffles, we do whatever we can to raise money to support our youth. Um, I'd like to thank the Hellenic Foundation for supporting us with another grant this year. Their acknowledgement of our organization amplifies our work in our community. It allows us to provide additional financial support to young adults in our community and allows us to invest in our future. Uh, we truly believe that supporting our youth in their higher education needs provides a better future for us all. So once again, Thank you to the Hellenic Foundation and happy holidays to all. Hello, everyone. My name is Savas Cox Blue and I'm the president of Hellenic League Midwest. We'd like to thank Hellenic Foundation for giving us the opportunity to participate in this event today. Uh, Hellenic League Midwest is a scientific and uh, cultural organization based in Chicago. We have given so far uh, over 100 scholarships to date. And as far as our lecture series program we have given over 200 lectures uh, to date 
Uh, we thank the Hellenic Foundation for its support uh, because it has helped us a lot in the last few years uh, with its uh, financial support. Our programs, especially our lecture series program, is unique uh, not only in the Chicagoland area, but in the entire country. Uh, we uh, inform and educate our members and our friends and we will continue to do so uh, in the future. Uh, again, uh, thank you for allowing us to participate in this event. Uh, thanks to, to also to the Hellenic Foundation for its support to date. And Merry Christmas to all of you. Uh, my name is Robert Bueller, and I'm chairman of the Panhellenic Scholarship Foundation. On behalf of my fellow trustees, our board members, our advisory board members, and our academic committee members, I'd like to thank the Hellenic Foundation for, again, their very strong support uh, this year. Every year, the Hellenic Foundation has helped the Panhellenic Foundation provide scholarships to needs-based and non-needs-based scholars in the country. We've been able to provide over $3,750,000 in scholarships to over 600 scholars in, with over 200 colleges uh, represented. Um, because of the Hellenic Foundation's very strong support over the years, we focused on, for them, a needs-based scholar in the Chicago area. Uh, the beauty of this is that they can get to know that needs-based scholar and have their own relationship with that scholar as well. That idea uh, from years ago sort of formed up the, the new idea of uh, taking mentorship to a higher level. This resulted in the Panhellenic starting a mentorship luncheon uh, where every year we would have maybe 140 attendees and uh, tables of 10 with one mentor at those tables uh, in law or real estate or investment banking or medicine. And that mentor would come with the understanding that they were going to not just be a mentor for the day, but help those mentees uh, for the year. And so many of those young scholars would follow on and have discussions with that mentor uh, throughout the year. And um, Hellenic Foundation was kind enough again this year to help us fund that luncheon, uh, co-fund that luncheon. And uh, it's really a result of their good thoughts from the past that has formed us up. So we are very appreciative with our relationship with the Hellenic Foundation. They're extraordinary people. Peter and the board do an amazing job. We respect them. And we're honored to be a receiver of their, their proceeds and their faith and their belief in us to, do, uh, to steward their money appropriately. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a wonderful holiday season and Merry Christmas. Congratulations to all of you. Your efforts will be felt for generations to come. No doubt about it. Our next awardee is both a current and past recipient who involves young adults with the Orthodox Church through their local parishes. Let's take a look at what the Telos Gamma project is up to. Since Telos Gamma has happened, I think I've seen our young adult population, not only in the pews flourish, but involved in different ministries flourishing and even taking on leadership roles in those positions. And that's something that I just didn't see as a kid growing up. We discussed and have been trained through an entire process in really engaging our young adults and being intentional about what they actually want and need from ministry and try to specifically include young adults in various ministries. It's giving us a platform to really dive into the work. Through our conferences and meetings, they show us how to speak to young adults, how to speak to our parish, how to talk to the community as a whole in order to get young adults to come back to the church and feel comfortable. We're seeing people become Sunday school teachers, people on the parish council, people who want to be there every Sunday to see each other in coffee hour. We have a lot to share and a lot to say, and we can be leaders at any age, at any time. And if you look around our parish right now, there's a lot of people that are our age in leadership roles. We have them reading epistles every week. We have them like helping lead in the altar. You have every single opportunity to serve in the church. It doesn't just have to be the young adult group. Telos has played a role in our parish by making it more normal for young adults to be in leadership roles. And it's made me feel more comfortable putting myself in those leadership roles too. Seeing other young adults as ushers and other, a lot of young adults reading the epistle, I think it makes me feel like, okay, I can go up there and chant. 
it's making a direct impact on our parishes and the support and the ministry that we can provide to help our young adults get connected and closer to to God ultimately. You know people especially now they they need God they may not know they need him but they need him. Hi I'm Anna Callis I am the director of Telos Gamma. Telos Gamma is an initiative that works with communities enabling them and equipping them to welcome young adults post-college into their parishes. Post-college young adults are the most absent demographic in our parishes and often the most underserved demographic in our parishes. Young adults are also at a really important phase of their life where they're searching, trying to understand who they are, what their purpose is in this world, and where they fit in. They also have a ton of questions about their faith, but often don't feel welcomed into their parishes. What we do through Telos Gamma is we equip teams at local parishes to enable them and to welcome young adults back into their parishes, to become communities that are loving and comforting places and empathetic places for young adults. We equip them by training them, by giving them grant funding, and by coaching them in really reimagining how to better engage and minister to the young adults in their parishes. I am profoundly grateful to the Hellenic Foundation for having the vision to bring this initiative to the Chicago metropolis. I am profoundly grateful for their continued support. Our young adults are so critical to the life of the church, and our young adults need the church in their life. And through Telos Gamma, we are able to welcome so many more young adults back into our parishes. Hi, my name is Alexandra Mamalakis. I am an alum of Crossroad 2013. Um, one thing I loved about Crossroad was that it facilitated a deeper connection with myself, with God, with my neighbor, and with the other Crossroad participants and staff in the program. Hi, my name is Sophia Lee Hockey. I am a Crossroad alum from 2017. One thing Crossroad taught me is how to show love to other people and how I should be receiving love. And it is so wonderful that the Crossroad program has the opportunity to expand to Chicago, not only because it gives more high schoolers the opportunity to attend the program here, but also gives them the opportunity to experience the wealth of orthodoxy in Chicago. We want to say thank you to the Hellenic Foundation for having this vision to bring Crossroad to Chicago and for continuing to support their vision. Wow, another incredible program. Look at the results, mm -hmm. too. Engaging the next generation of our Orthodox leaders. It's really, really incredible to see. The next group of recipients align in this mission by providing new technology and resources to ensure our institutions are equipped with the necessary tools for success. Please join us in welcoming and congratulating the Greek Town Educational Foundation, the Hellenic American Academy, St. Nectarios Greek Orthodox Church, St. Sava Academy, and the Vladimirov Sunday School. Hi, my name is uh, Leo Lucius, and uh, I'm a board member of the Chicago uh, Greek Town Educational Foundation. Uh, we've been in, in the business for the last seven years, and we're excited about that. Our foundation, what it does, our mission and goal is to uh, uh, help the Greek schools, the Greek language, basically. And uh, uh, we've been doing that by supporting them in technology and also books, uh, uh, other materials like the chairs, uh, dividers, uh, you know, desks, uh, printers. So, you know, I'm going to let uh, Louis now talk a little bit about the technology and everything else. And uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. Louis Masos, I'm a board member at the Chicago Greek Town Educational Foundation. And we're very thankful for the grant we're receiving from the Hellenic Foundation. That will allow us to purchase subscriptions for uh, digital language programs for over 300 students in the Chicagoland area. In addition to these programs, we provide iPads, smart boards, and the latest technologies to ensure that students are not only learning, but also having fun. 
Uh, when I was a kid in Greek school at uh, Solon St. Demetrius, Chicago, I learned every Saturday. But now with technology, the children can take these uh, software programs and the iPads at home and learn throughout the week while having fun doing so. So we're very appreciative. Thank you for allowing us to continue supporting Greek students. Thank you for your support on behalf of the community. Uh, Merry Christmas, and we look forward to this partnership in the future. Hi, my name is Chris Bennett, and I'm the principal of the Hellenic American Academy that's located in Deerfield, Illinois. We're an academy for preschool through eighth grade students. And we are so grateful to the Hellenic Foundation for the grant that they are giving us to enhance our STEM program. In looking at this grant, I did some research and found that only 50% of students graduating from high school in this country are interested in going into STEM fields. And we found that 20% by the time they get out are ready for the rigors of that. And the important thing is that students need to enter high school interested in STEM uh, majors. And the way they do that is by being exposed to it in an innovative inquiry way when they are in younger grades. So it is our goal and we're going to use the money from the foundation to create a fourth and fifth grade math and science lab. We went into plan B so far this year and we've uh, got the room all set and ready to go for the state of the art equipment we'll be getting for the state of the art furniture that we'll be getting. And we will be providing our students with the opportunity that STEM provides to them. STEM is the future, STEM is an opportunity, and we believe at the Academy that it's our responsibility to provide that opportunity to all of our students. So again, we want to thank the Hellenic Foundation. Thank you for listening to me, and happy holidays. Hello, this is Father Chris Michalopoulos from the community of St. Nectarius Greek Orthodox Church, and we are beyond excited to be working and receiving an incredible grant offered by the Hellenic Foundation. This is an incredible opportunity for our entire community to, what, to allow our ministries, activities, and schools to grow and prosper, obviously doing the work of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. This will be something for us that really will blow us out of the water and really allow us to strengthen our opportunities to minister to all the people of God in the local and greater community here in the Northwest suburbs of Chicago. We are incredibly blessed to be working, collaborating with the Hellenic Foundation, and we look forward to see the awesome and forthcoming activities that will blossom from this grant that we are receiving from the Hellenic Foundation. I hope all of you have a blessed and healthy Christmas. And a happy and blessed New Year to all of you. Hi, I'm Angelina Georgievich. I'm a member of the Serbian Orthodox community and currently a grant writer for St. Sava Academy. We're a smaller academy that services preschool through sixth grade students in a uh, the religious setting of Holy Resurrection Orthodox Cathedral. We teach the students, our students the value of learning and respect to others and how to best service their community. We have the unique structure of being within the Holy Resurrection Cathedral, where our students learn how to best fit in with their with the religious community. We ask the Hellenic Foundation for support in purchasing new tablets to support our specifically our younger students in their learning careers. We um, we're thankful for the opportunity, and with this new this new relationship, we think we can strengthen our Orthodox community even more. Merry Christmas, Mir Bozic, Stretchanova Godina, Happy New Year. Thank you again for the help. Uh, since the school opening, our pro program has improved. We are offering several additional classes like uh, art class, music class, uh, science class. Um, we also have Orthodox religion class, Bible class, Russian and Slovenic languages. In addition, with the help of our local community, we are able to open a um, museum, the historical museum. That's a museum of um, Russian royal family. Uh, also, we, we did establish a small library, the Orthodox Library, built the chapel of St. Seraphim of Sarov outside. Uh, with your support, we are able to expand our museum, our Orthodox Library, to have more Bibles for Bible class, musical instruments, art supplies, um, 
computers for science class for more and more and more with our sunday school program we are very happy to see more people staying connected to the church in our difficult time so many people have stepped away from going to church and we are excited to witness how our sunday school program um, bringing bring, brings more kids to school while also bringing their parents back to church we're very grateful and thankful for your support of our program I would like to say Merry Christmas to all of you. С Рождеством Христом. It's in, in Russian. Merry Christmas. Another huge congratulations to all of our recipients. These organizations truly make such a difference in our community. Don't they? Another thing that's significant here too, Judge, is about these recipients is that they are all first-time recipients this mm -hmm. year. How about that? 2021 has been an exciting year full of new applicants. And please allow me at this time to introduce the Hellenic Foundation president, Jim Sekoulis, who will tell us a little more about how expanding their reach has really helped them accomplish their mission. Thank you, Judge Tony and Anna, and congratulations to all of our grant recipients. I'd like to thank the Hellenic Foundation board members and all of our previous and current grant applicants. I'm privileged and thankful to God for allowing me to be part of this fine organization. The Hellenic Foundation has come a long way over the years, and with the support of our board, we have been fortunate to turn our mission into a reality. This year, we have received the most diverse group of grant applicants to date. This is an exciting moment for us because the more grant requests we receive means the more organizations we can help. My hope for the future is that our grants will expand to all areas of need in our community, such as more nursing homes, museums, youth and education programs, and possibly expanding into prison programs, divorced parents organizations, and additional orthodox nonprofits that help with the growth needs of the future. It's important to note that we have established existing relationships with our current grant recipients and continue to partner with them in our mutual growth. Our goal is to connect our recipients and create a synergy that expands and enhances their individual missions. The Hellenic Foundation is here for you. As our foundation grows, our ongoing mission is to partner with more organizations that help the Hellenic and Pan-Orthodox community in the Chicagoland area. Together, we can make a difference. Thank you and Merry Christmas. Kala Christuyana. Thanks, Jim. We hope others watching this are as inspired to apply in the future and become a part of the Hellenic Foundation family next year. Our last group of recipients are organizations who impact our culture, like the National Invitation Basketball Tournament and the National Hellenic Museum. Also recipients that impact our faith, mm -hmm. like the Metropolis of Chicago and the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church in Kankakee. And then the recipients that help those in need, like the Greek American Rehabilitation and Care Center. So the NHIBT is now over 92 years old and stands as the oldest Hellenic tournament in the nation, some might say the world, and it continues to attract aspiring Greek coaches, players, families, and Hellenic youth. Our mission statement is promote, support, and preserve Hellenicism through competition and fellowship. This is truly a unique project. It'll be like no other. And we're going to broadcast 20 games. We have the technology to broadcast 20 games. And it's going to be from youth to high school boys, girls, and also men's and women's. So the project also includes a stat tracking program that will also have the player's name. So now everyone can see real-time stats during the game. So we look forward to the 2022 event. Um, and we feel the event always was about providing the Hellenic youth with an opportunity and telling them, go out there and make a great memory. Now we're just going to help them capture it and share it. So the foundation's given me, it's given the NHIBT to continue this great journey as, as we keep reflecting on this beautiful and distinguished past and to ensure that it has a very vibrant and, and bright future. And we cannot thank them enough for their support. 
everyone, we wish you Kala Christuyana. Happy holidays. Kali Protochronia me ihia kikara. Stay safe. My name is Marianne Cancheris, and I'm the executive director of the National Hellenic Museum. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and our dedicated team, we thank the Hellenic Foundation for its commitment. At the museum, our mission is to connect generations to Greek history, culture, and art, and to celebrate the immigrant story in America. We do this through our exhibits, our collections, sharing our oral histories, and educational programming. During the pandemic, our staff pivoted to engage audiences with online programs. They created a lively and relevant podcast called NHM Dialogues, they started a YouTube channel with interviews and panel discussions, and they produced engaging online exhibits. Given the positive response from our audience, our online programs are here to stay. And with the help from the Hellenic Foundation, we will expand our online educational content to more people. From programs that teach children about Greek mythology and democracy, to classes for adults that explore the history of the Hagia Sophia, to the legacy of the Byzantine Empire, our discussions will be thought provoking as we talk about the events and people that shaped history. I'll close by saying the great historian Herodotus taught us that the purpose of recording history is so the actions of people are not forgotten. His work was unique for it recorded both memory and understanding. So at the National Hellenic Museum, we are dedicated to the task Herodotus set before us. We want to approach all our conversations from the point of understanding the actions that men and women took, and we want to understand the circumstances surrounding those actions. And the Hellenic Foundation is helping us do that. That's how we can make history come alive, and that's how we can make it relevant and applicable to our current time. Once again, we thank the Hellenic Foundation for helping us provide greater access to the richness and complexity of our shared history and culture. Merry Christmas. Good evening. My name is Vicki Pappas Carl, and I'm the executive director of the Greek Orthodox Metropolis of Chicago. The Hellenic Foundation's grant will allow us to hire a professional full-time communications director. A communications director is something that we really need at the Metropolis because it will help us further His Eminence's vision to grow our parishes and the Orthodox faith in the Midwest. We have a number of programs and initiatives at the Metropolis. We also have a number of parishes spread out over six states. A communications director would really help us help our parishes communicate with each other, collaborate, and come up with programming such as religious literacy that could benefit everybody. The Communications is really vital to us, especially in the post-pandemic world, because it allows us to um, also help our parishes, our clergy, and our lay leadership develop their skills and to increase our humanitarian outreach so that we can reach a number of our neighbors who are in need. One program that we have is Project Hope, and that is our food ministry a communications director would really help us to get our message out, to let people know the good things that the Orthodox uh, Church is doing. Ultimately, a communications director is gonna help us bring more people closer to Christ. And that is the ultimate goal of the Metropolis and his eminence. So I say thank you the communications director role will help for all these reasons, but will also help me because right now I'm trying, however imperfectly, to do these things myself. And I know that a seasoned professional will be able to do a much better job. So thank you to the Hellenic Foundation. I wish all of you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. My name is Father Nicholas Granius. I'm the pastor of Annunciation Church, Kankakee, Illinois. Uh, this is a church that was built 97 years ago, and it's on the same spot it was then. Um, it's a beautiful little church with a lot of history. Um, I'm delighted and honored to be for a second year addressing the friends and family of the Hellenic Foundation. We received the grant about a year ago at this time, and we've used that grant to help us modernize in our communications. We have realized that we can employ the, the office in the church uh, and also have remote setups. And that's what we asked for. We've got a couple of laptops that enabled me 
and members of the parish who do administrative work who work from home. Because of the new communications, we've been able to establish some electronic ministries. We now do a weekly bulletin that includes all the saints uh, and all the liturgical information. Members of the parish who are doing our administrative work are able to do that from home and then send it to me and I send it out. And in, in, in all those cases, we use two laptops that were provided to us by the Hellenic Foundation that are tied into a new computer which we have in our office. Um, it's not just that the Lenny Foundation has provided us with some financial resources that enable us to do more. And we have learned that the people of the Lenny Foundation care very much about us, care very much about what we do. Uh, we, we communicate back and forth in helping us find ways to do it better and have actually volunteered themselves to help us, um, both financially and, and personally in, in, in some permutations of, of, these, of these changes that go outside of the grant. So we are tremendously grateful and we feel like the members of the Lenny Foundation and the Renaissance Fund are, are part of our community, are unofficial stewards of what we do down here, which is a wonderful feeling because we really are all one family. And in closing, I'd like to say on, on today, 10 days before Christmas, um, that we are particularly grateful in a season when we really need to express, express our gratitude and transfer the fruits of that gratitude to others. Uh, we'd like to say thank you to, to everyone who helps, about, helps us, cares about us, um, and worships with us, whether it's in church or far away. We'd like to thank all the people that help us do that. We'd like to wish everyone the most blessed of Christmases. Christ is born, glorify him. Um, let us be worthy of the gift he has given us. Hi, this is uh, Dino Vernavis from the Greek American Rehab and Care Center in Willing, Illinois. Uh, we're a nonprofit organization that takes care of uh, people requiring short-term rehab or long-term care, whether it's on our dementia floor on the fourth floor or long-term on our, our second floor for residents who are a little bit more alert and oriented. Um, the Hellenic Foundation has been a great partner with the Greek American over the years and has uh, helped us fund different programs and uh, helped us get things for our residents to improve their quality of life and, and, and make things easier for our staff. And I'm so happy uh, to be uh, representing the facility where we're accepting this, uh, this grant from the Hellenic Foundation. Uh, with 2020, with COVID, we weren't able to really do much and go out and, 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 and still in 2021, uh, we've been kind of uh, hiding under the radar, but uh, we're looking forward to getting uh, back to the new normal in 2022, where we'll have a van, we'll be able to take our residents back out into the community, back to the churches that they belong to, to participate in their, their feast days, their uh, their holidays, where they have their, their, their festivals, and to uh, get them out into the community, do some, some things to make them still feel uh, that they're useful, uh, very important uh, to to get out of your house and to engage in uh, socialization and to do things that make us happy. So uh, we're very honored and thrilled to, to get this award from the Hellenic Foundation and I'd like to thank Peter and, and the team over there for what they've done for us. Judge Tony is always a big supporter of the community and, uh, you know, I'd like to leave you on, uh, on this uh, Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year. Thank you all and congratulations on your many accomplishments. We look forward to our continued partnership with you for years to come. And thank you all for being with us tonight. You, our participants, the people watching this are an integral part of this community. Yes. We're thankful for you, right? Absolutely. Before we go, we want to introduce you to our last grant recipient. Judge, you ready for this? Yes, ma'am. Let's go. In this season of giving, St. John the Baptist Greek Orthodox Church has opened their doors to the community through their Feed My Neighbor program, providing hot meals, clothing, all sorts of things for people who truly need it. A, a true representation of Philoctimo. Let's take a look. In the Gospel, we read that the poor will be always with us. Our salvation is through those people. And I find that is necessary, a must, to feed our neighbor. 
and to offer them hospitality. And in this manner, hopefully a glimpse into Christ's love for them. The mission of Feed My Neighbor is to follow Christ's instruction to feed the hungry and to treat our neighbors as though they are Christ himself. We have seen a great need in our community for more meals, uh, people that are working but just simply have to make a choice sometimes between paying their rent or other expenses and having enough money for food and also others who it's not a financial need but just more so would really appreciate a home-cooked meal. As we've seen, the world can be a very lonely place for people, and having doors open in a place that shows hospitality through Christ's love with open arms has really helped many of these community members. And so if we can do nothing else other than open our doors and, and offer some smiles and some festive holiday cheer, then we've achieved our goal. When November comes, we are really looking forward to Thanksgiving Day. It is not because the day that we will spend with our families, not only because in the morning we'll be celebrating the Divine Liturgy, but also because we're going to offer hospitality. God works in mysterious ways, so how He's touching the heart of our guests, we're unsure of, but He knows what He is doing in each person's heart. And we also know that our volunteers are receiving something within their heart as well. Thanksgiving Day, Mommy's at church, but she'll be home for lunch. So that's just what our family does on Thanksgiving, and that's our Thanksgiving tradition. Thank you so much to the Hellenic Foundation for funding the Feed My Neighbor program expansion at St. John the Baptist Greek Orthodox Church in Des Plaines. We currently provide over 1,000 hot meals served with Greek hospitality to those in need each year. Des Plaines has some unique needs and risk factors for food insecurity, including an older population, child poverty, homelessness, and a high density of recent immigrants. During the pandemic, Des Plaines has seen an increase in the number of people accessing food pantries and soup kitchens. So the grant from the Hellenic Foundation comes at a really important time. The need is greater than ever for St. John the Baptist to fulfill Christ's call to feed the hungry. Thanks to this funding, the Feed My Neighbor program will triple the number of meals served to those experiencing food insecurity in the Des Plaines community whether they are Greek Americans, Orthodox Christians, or anyone in need. This funding will allow for an additional 2,000 hot meals annually provided by the Feed My Neighbor program. The program also provides an invaluable opportunity for our parish, especially our children and young people, to become actively involved in service to our neighbors. We are really excited that the Hellenic Foundation is funding this growth and encouraging us to think even bigger. Our program has already been used as a model for at least one other Greek Orthodox Church, and we are thinking about ways to partner with other Orthodox churches and ministries to grow the program further. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year. What a beautiful place and such inspiring group of people. It's truly humbling, isn't it? To, yes, to it hear is. of the work being done in our community and the leadership and the people helping people. You That's know? so important, just wanting to help and, and doing God's work. Doing God's work and there's a lot of need, that's for sure. Thank you so much for being a part of this beautiful evening. Of course. We are blessed to do this work. Mm -hmm. We wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Be safe and see you next year. Kala Christuyana. <laughs> Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the Hellenic Foundation. Merry Christmas, Christmas. everyone. Merry Christmas from the Hellenic Foundation.
oh, you're still here. Well, since you're still here, if you want to learn more about our grant recipients from this year and from last year, please visit our website and view the extended video interviews which are there. Have a nice evening and thank you.